It's 10 trivia questions on TV show characters' last names. This is Trivia with Buds. Welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out my show, and thanks for leaving iTunes reviews, up to 341 of those. Very grateful for you taking the time to do that if you listen on an Apple product. Go leave a review and let people know what you think about this podcast, which has put out over 1,700 episodes, including today's episode, which is all about TV character last names. Now, these questions came to me from my good friend, Matt Frost, who listens to the show and is a fellow trivia host in the Redlands, California area. Matt Frost is uh, been writing and hosting trivia for, I want to at least five years, probably 10 years at this point. And uh, he's a very smart dude. Whenever he comes to my trivia nights, his team always wins. So uh, something you may not know, uh, a lot of trivia hosts, at least in my circles, we uh, we trade questions all the time, especially if we're in different parts of the country, because uh, there's no chance those people are playing the same nights uh, in the same weeks with us because we live in different places. So Matt sent me a bunch of great picture rounds, and at the bottom of each picture round is a little matchup round. So that's what we're going to use for today's episode. Thank you, Matt Frost, for supplying the content for today. We have a Geek Out Challenge card for you, and you have to name two films that take place in China, six TV shows that take place almost entirely in a workplace, two book titles by John Grisham, four songs about female empowerment, and two celebrity hairstylists. Ooh, I don't know any, so that would be tough for me at the end. I think I could do all the rest of them, but uh, there you have it. Your Geek Out Challenge card hopefully leads to some fun discussion with you, your friends, your family, your coworkers, whoever you're listening along with today. I hope you guys are safe and sound and having tons of fun playing along with the show. We're going to jump into this episode on TV show character last names right now. Here we go. All right, I'm going to read you the name of a TV show, and I want you to give me the last name of that title character of the TV show that I give you, okay? So number one is Roseanne. Roseanne. What is Roseanne's last name on the show? Roseanne. Number two, my name is Earl. My name is Earl. What's the last name of Earl on my name is Earl? Number three is I Love Lucy. What is Lucy's last name on that show? I Love Lucy, number three. Number four, everybody loves Raymond. Everybody loves Raymond. Number five, Dexter. Switching it up from the sitcoms there, going into a dark, sometimes funny show. Dexter, number five. Number six is Alice, which was an old sitcom. Alice, number six. Number seven, Felicity. Number seven is Felicity. Number eight is Joey. And there was a sitcom just called Joey. So think about that. Number eight, Joey. Number nine is Webster. Webster for number nine. And number 10 is Sabrina, the Teenage Witch. Sabrina, the Teenage Witch. Those are all your questions for TV show character last names. We'll be right back after this with those definitive answers. We are back with the answers to TV show character last names brought to you by Matt Frost. Trivia host extraordinaire. Let's see if you got these. Number one, Roseanne, was Connor. Roseanne Connor, 
And now just the Connors without Roseanne, number one. Number two, my name is Earl. His last name is Hickey, Earl Hickey, number two. Number three, I Love Lucy is Ricardo. Lucy Ricardo, married to Desi Arnaz or Ricky Ricardo on the show. I think her maiden name was Cunningham, if I'm not mistaken. Lucy Cunningham? Lucy McGillicuddy? I can't remember, but I used to watch that show all the time. Number four, Everybody Loves Raymond is Barone, or it could be Baroni, because I have never seen an episode of Everybody Loves Raymond. <laughs> I know it's an acclaimed show. Uh, I don't know how they say the name on that show, if it's Barone or Baroni. Uh, there was a pizza place in Crestwood, Illinois, called Baroni's, spelled B-A-R-O-N, apostrophe S, but I've also known that last name to, to be pronounced Barone. So if you love Everybody Loves Raymond, I'm sorry, but uh, you know the last name. Come on. Number five, Dexter Morgan is the killer that people root for, the anti-hero of the show Dexter, number five. Number six, Alice, a show I'm not very familiar with, I think takes place at a diner. And that was, uh, let's see here, Hyatt, H-Y-A-T-T. -T. That's probably the hardest one on there. I would not have gotten it. Number seven, Felicity is Porter. Felicity Porter on that coming-of-age drama. And number eight, Joey Tribbiani from Friends had that spinoff that lasted for two seasons, Joey. Number nine, Webster Long, another tough one if you haven't seen Webster, the adopted kid of the Long family. Webster Long and number 10, Sabrina Spellman from Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Sabrina Spellman. There you have it on today's episode. Hope you had fun playing along with a good mix of TV shows there. Thanks again to Matt Frost. Uh, grab the digital download of my new book, Pop Culture Puzzles, Volume 1, for only 7 bucks. There's an Etsy link in the show notes to every episode. Click that and uh, print it out. You can print off all the pages at once. You can print off just a few at a time. You can put them in your car, save them for a road trip, bust them out. It's just like a written version of an episode of this show. And there's 23 puzzles in there for you. Brand new book coming out this summer with a fun theme to it. Your fact of the day is, in Switzerland, it's illegal to flush the toilet after 10 p.m., so make sure you go potty before the clock strikes 10. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. We'll see you next time for more trivia with Buds. Cheers. Cheers.